14 RTA is like a 13. Like a 13 30 in game. Anyways, we are going to start another run, but we're going to turn the gravity off and it'll be a good time. Which, by the way, is literally cheating. Actually, it's not. <laughs> you don't need to have SV cheats on. SV gravity isn't cheat protected? Oh, wait. Uh, I'm going to give you your countdown. So, three, two, one. And go. Okay, good. You can see that the gravity works really well. <clears throat> so we can just sort of do this. So in zero gravity, it's really important that you never jump ever. Unless you're supposed to, in which case you need to jump. But don't ever jump, because if you jump, you will not come back down. Fortunately, we can use objects and various slopes to bring ourselves back down to, to the rest of the world. So how much of a donation for you to jump? I mean... How about five dollars? Alright, you heard it. Five dollars and door jumps. Okay. Only five? So the first part of this run is awful because we have to get a cube out of this cube dropper and it's just terrible. But I have a setup for this which makes it slightly less awful. So we can get stuck really easily in this section. There we go. That could have gone a lot worse and taken a lot of time. But uh, fortunately, I did not mess it up too badly. So you're supposed to jump and hit this door frame and then go into the elevator, but I messed it up three times so it didn't actually save any time. But uh, yeah, getting cubes out of cube droppers is really bad in zero gravity, which is why in 11.12 we do the save glitch to avoid that. You're gonna see a pretty interesting thing we have to do here, which is use the radio to push ourselves down to the ground, which I actually got really quickly. Using objects to boost yourself downwards in zero gravity is slightly random, so it might cause some issues later. Alright, we have a five dollar donation. I want to see Nord jump. Okay, I'm jumping. Alright, I have to reload my game now. Perfect. <laughs> Nor the hustler, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm the official donation reader. Get out. Alright, I jumped. Why was that cube inside the ground? What? Uh, don't worry about it. Sometimes life might kill, and other times you also put cubes inside of the ground. Oh my god. You're doing very well. So there's a really, really cool strat that we can do here that is just... Basically, we get set up so that we can float over top of this uh, area over here, and if I actually get it, it will be pretty exciting. Ugh. Oh, I messed it up. So the idea is that you want to get into this portal before uh, it shoots so that you can skip having to wait for the cycle. A lot of the routing for this category was done by um, done by Yeti Revolution, also known as the legendary Fat V. Do not touch the Forever Fat V. End of the device. Do not look directly at he the has the world record in this device. category, I believe, the with a time of 16 minutes and 3 seconds. Most importantly, it's pretty no fast. My run will not be 16 Remember, minutes and 3 seconds. Your science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. So we can jump in the elevators because the will catch up to our feet. But, uh, usually if you jump, you just don't come back down, and it's very bad. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well.
we do the same save glitch as inbounds there for uh, uh, skipping the door there because we can just sort of float over top of it. Even though we have to jump in inbounds, we can just float in zero gravity, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> These strats are so cool. The required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required So in the next couple of maps, we kind of just stop use clever in three, uh, jump two, placement to be able to go right into the elevators. In the next map specifically, we will jump and then just go directly into the elevator. So if we jump here, this is actually at the same level as the elevator, so we can go pretty much right in. And the same goes for the next map, and the map after that. Or, not the next map, the next chamber. Because 6 and 7 are in the same map. I'm gonna do a really, really sick ABH over goo, so get ready. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. I have actually died to the orb there before in this category, which is really embarrassing because I basically just floated in midair right next to where the orb uh, travels and died, and I was like, what just happened? And it was it was pretty funny. I don't think that I ever highlighted that on my channel though. Please know that we have a consequence for failure. Any right. contact with the chamber uh, will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. So that was ABH over goo. Good luck. Did the whole thing in one hop? Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance. Chamber nine actually has a really cool route where uh, we put a portal here and then we jump through this hole. And if we go in here we can actually trigger the elevator to go down and skip having to do any stupid uh, item boosting to go downwards. The enrichment. I am a fish. Hello again. To reiterate. You can just wiggle in the air. Swimming. Yeah, dude. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. So here we actually use the fizzler to push us downwards. If I hadn't hit the fizzler, I would have been exactly in line with the step here, and I wouldn't have been able to touch the ground, because you have to actually have your feet touching the ground to be able to walk around. So there's a lot of annoying stuff that almost works, but doesn't quite, just because of the way the maps are made. But, uh, thankfully, the the fizzlers allow you to travel downwards. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call here. The enrichment center promises. All right, so this is a little bit finicky sometimes. Environment. In dangerous testing environments, the enrichment center promises to always provide useful uh, advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Uh, Try okay. to avoid it. We got there. So that skips another cube dropper, which we really, really don't want to have to deal with because the cube droppers are awful, uh, as you saw at the very beginning of the run. We also skip the one in 17, which is the worst cube dropper because it's really tall and is just extremely painful to get through without uh, having gravity, I guess. So here there's actually a strat that we can do where we shoot into here. I'm just going to do it this way instead, though. So the trigger for the door here, for the elevator to open, is in a strange spot. So we actually have to uh, use a portal to push ourselves to the ground so that we can get in. Otherwise the elevator just won't open. I 
I really don't want to be the cube dropper. So here we just jump and go right into the elevator, which is another elevator where the trigger is in a strange place. So it's uh, we have to go backwards so that we can open the elevator up. That is called an X Y bump in Chamber Thirteen, and it is I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's very strange. I'm sure that someone could explain Today, it, but that person is not me. So here we actually use the way that the map is made to be able to do that same shot without floating around a bunch. And that is pretty helpful because we need to get past there, and doing it the normal way is very slow. And we skip all the momentum puzzles and just sort of fly through this map. So here we can put a portal on the ground and on the uh, wall so that we can go up and get into the elevator. Here we use Azrae's favorite trick with the save glitch to skip having to deal with this map. This save glitch is really finicky and doesn't always work very well, so sometimes it'll take a couple of tries to actually get it. So if we shoot the portal over here, and we get Quantum Crouch, we can go past all these turrets, and they will attempt to shoot at our heads, so we can just sort of float past them and go through well the map. Done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell can you is explain a real to the place people what is quantum, quantum Crouch? Quantum Crouch is a state between standing and crouching, where your hitbox is such that you are crouching, but your view and where enemies will think that you are is standing, the so they'll aim at your head, and your head is actually at crouching level, so they it, won't shoot Yeah, you. it's also called Schrodinger's Crouch too, and I used it uh, in my Half-Life 2 run as well. It's a very nice technique to peer through ceilings and divert enemy fire pretty much. So here are some spooky orbs that we don't want to get killed by. So here we need to do another save glitch to skip using the the cube dropper. The save glitch is really, really, really finicky and will actually not work half the time. I need to go back so that I can get crouched first, otherwise I will go out of bounds. This category is also uh, no out of bounds because doing it with out of bounds would be kind of silly because you would just do the normal Why? out of bounds strats for the most part. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. The Enrichment Center is required to remind you that you will be baked, and then there will be cake. So here we do almost the same thing as the normal run. We have to... get over here and then do that. So doing the edge glitch is actually a lot harder because you'll float around while you're trying to do it. Here we can just sort of jump and go up to the top of the map with the camera and boost ourselves downwards. So doing that edge glitch is actually a lot harder in zero gravity 
it is pretty annoying. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. Camera, I need you, please. Okay, I guess I have to do this again. So the items are not always nice to us, and like I said earlier, boosting downwards with items is fairly random. Unfortunately, I forgot to make well a save there so that if I messed it up, I would not have to redo it. To uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. This is still only the second worst item boost that we have to do in Zero Grav. There is one that is actually a lot worse later. Uh, please. Please. Okay, thank you. So, slowly but surely, we will descend into the elevator. <clears throat> we do the pretty much the same strats as inbounds in the next map, just without gravity. Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will lock the device in the Equipment Recovery Annex. Enrichment Center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake. I forgot to... do the portal peak here. So this is another save glitch that is a little bit difficult because of zero gravity. For whatever reason, zero grav actually makes save glitch do weird things, and it makes it harder to get save glitch. I have no idea why, but uh, that's how it works. Isn't that the same with the steam pipe version of Portal? Uh, yeah, in steam pipe, like, it it's is harder. Really difficult to do the save glitch. I'm gonna need to get downwards somehow. So I'm gonna do this. It. So I have to get down here somehow. Oh, here. We'll just do this instead. Alright. Portal peaking in zero gravity is also not very fun. There we go. So here we can actually set up the um, double lag without having to do anything fancy. Well, not as fancy as in the normal inbounds runs at least. We just jump into the portal and make sure that we don't get stuck there. So there we go. This is the worst map in Zero Gravity, because we have to do a lot of object boosting and it's terrible. So this water jug is going to be our friend for a while. It's not a very nice friend to us though, sometimes. We go up here. In both inbounds and zero gravity, this is the worst map, which, uh, yeah. I don't really have anything good to say about this map, just in general. So you will see shortly why this map is so bad. You have left oh, oops. Have to go underneath here. And then we jump up here. And now we have to get down into this using this to boost us downwards, which is awful.
So now we are going down very slowly. Yes, world record is something like 16 minutes. I'm pretty sure that Yeti has world record in this category. People were saying uh, Swaggertron has like a 15.25. Oh, okay. So here, the way that the map is made is actually pretty conducive to us doing this quickly. You can actually float above the ground here slightly and do this a little bit faster by air scraping, but I did not do it that way. It's a little bit tricky to be able to get the air scrape. So in the inbounds run, we would normally take the, or we normally press the button to get the turret to pop up, but we don't do that in zero grav because it's, uh, it's really, really, really obnoxious. Think of all the zero grav rockets. Here we just have to jump into this vent. Shoot the shot there. And now we can just air strafe around. It's a pretty cool strat, isn't it? Oh, whoops. I made a small mistake. Uh, uh, okay. We're gonna have to replace this portal. Because normally I want to shoot that on the ramp like that. So here we can actually hit this uh, slope on the bottom of the stairs and do basically do catwalk skip and then we can get a turret set up to do the GLaDOS quick kill so we have to shoot a portal down here and then we'll shoot one over and we put it in the same place that we do in inbounds. So now we need to collect all of the cores and put them over here so that we can use what is called core fall skip in order to um, get all the cores destroyed without using the incinerator because the incinerator in zero grav is awful. So I need to turn around. So as long as you don't Never push items or entities, they won't float around and be obnoxious. So I have a couple of visual cues for where I need to shoot in order to get the course. So here we just shoot over here, set this portal up over here, 
And then we go over here. Do you think I'm trying to trick you with mere psychology? I mean, seriously here. now. And now I can just throw the cores into the incinerator. Uh, time will be coming up right about now. Okay, I'm cool with that. So that's zero grav. It's, uh, it's definitely one way to play the video game. If you're into that, I guess. Well, thank you so much, Noir Cat. Up next, we have Romilia Suica and Dusty1029 are going to do a speedrun of Portal 2 co-op, so get hyped. <laughs> 